I just wanted to get one thing clear before this video even gets started. Most of these videos about these characters, since the anime and manga are such in its infancy, none of this stuff should be taken as their absolute max, considering how new or how the manga itself is in its infancy. We'll probably get more lore and feats in the future, stuff like that. And even with even the fact that it's new, it's still confirmed that characters are already strong enough to destroy planets like Earth. Like it's more than one deity in this tournament so far that's already confirmed. He can they can destroy planets. I mean, not to mention Thor, for example, in this universe has similar feats to his myth, like fighting a giant snake, the planet sized snake. So it just kind of adds up with the lore and how this anime is using some myth elements to these characters, even though this is their own interpretation of these guys they have a lot of similarities to their myth counterparts when it comes to some of the accolades they do just keep this stuff in mind when i'm going over these record of ragnarok characters in these vids hercules or his most authentic dub heracles is throughout all forms of fiction and everybody has their own interpretation of hercules in their own universe like like how disney has their own hercules marvel comics hercules the one i love marvel will even be having him in live action soon the one i'm going to go over today is the one in the anime known as record of ragnarok See, all these different Hercules throughout fiction have their own little differences and things that makes them unique, but there's also a lot of similarities. I guess part of the reason these similarities exist is because they want to pay respect to the mythology of Hercules in general, of him being a powerhouse physical beast. Even with this anime's versions of Hercules, he still has some differences even then, but also a lot of similarities. But let's get into his might, shall we? See, there's this manga that's literally putting the gods versus the humans. The champions of the gods on this side, humanities on this side. The reason why this is even being held in the first place is because every millennia or a thousand years, there's like a conference between all the gods to determine the fate of mankind, if they deserve to live, or they would just get wiped out and such. And in this situation, all the gods agree that humanity should be killed. But it's not until one of the Valkyrie actually said, oh no, give the humans a chance. Let them fight for their freedom. And that's how Hercules got involved. Like this universe seems to have like almost every god and every mythology or every religion in the, in here somewhere. Their own interpretations of it, like Zeus, for example, even though he's a lot different than the Zeus we know, has a lot of similarities, but also have their own twist to the deities and humans. You know what I mean? Not to mention humans in this universe can get way stronger than normal humans can in real life just from working hard and lifting weights and training and stuff. Long story short, you're probably wondering, what the heck? Why is Hercules fighting mortals, right? They have weapons that are divine weapons that help them be able to harm the top tiers and stuff of that such. Amping up the humans' as physicals and speed and everything of that such. That makes sense, right? Interesting thing about Hercules in this universe is that he was formerly a human. So he went through some look evolutions, one can say. But then when he drank Ambrosia, oh yeah, the thing that powered him up that made him Hercules in the first place. Let me get on that real quick. He got powered up and changed appearance and looked like this because... See, this thing known as Ambrosia is actually the blood of Zeus himself, the sky god Zeus himself. Yes, this guy in narration that's stated to be the supreme god of the Greek faith, omnipotent, like this same guy in the record of Ragnarok, Rock, he drank his blood. That's why Hercules got so strong. Not just anybody can drink Zeus's blood and get godly strength like this. You have to meet some prerequisites or else you will die instantly. You have to be a true hero in order to even get powered up like this. So the fact that he didn't die by drinking his blood and getting powered up proves that he's a true hero when it comes to his heart and soul. I mean, even when he was mortal, he believed in hard work and dedication. You see him working out here, for example. You know what I mean? So it's crazy to think about. He went through some evolutions. Not only did he get powered up just by drinking Zeus's blood, but he actually got stronger than he is right here during his adventures and labors. He actually got stronger than he is right here. Like, this is his look right here where he's like pretty much at his peak. Way stronger than he was when he had that long hair looking like this. So he's made some progress as time went by. It shows Hercules' hand-to-hand -hand combat. In this particular occasion, he only has one arm. It kind of shows that he can fight with just straight hands, especially being one-armed. When it comes to him as a fighter, I mean, he doesn't really need weapons because his brute raw strength is already crazy, but he does carry melee weapons like this club, for example. Throughout his adventures, it's it's pretty much confirmed that Hercules is versatile when it comes to different ways he can attack you, not just hitting you with blunt power. I'm going to get back to the labors later on in this video, but... It, Thanks to him doing labors similar to Myth, which I'm definitely getting back to later in the vid, every labor he completed, he got new abilities and techniques because of the labors. And because of this, this gives him like versatile abilities with the club he uses. For example, like being able to turn his club into a bird to produce a gust of wind pretty much to blow projectiles backwards in his battle. Similar to his labor, like the lion, Nemean lion, his club can turn into a lion to hit really hard and make shockwaves, brute force type stuff. This kind of relates to his strength, you know what I mean? Herculean Exodus is what these abilities are called when he does these different techniques. With his club, the tattoo spreads around his body. Like stated here, the tattoo got bigger. The caveat is that every time he uses a skill, it causes 
the tattoo to spread. It causes immense pain. This also shows Hercules pain tolerance. He can take a lot of pain. And if he uses these techniques too much or too long and the tattoo envelops his whole body, he will die if he uses it too much. You know, these almighty techniques in exchange for life. That is the Herculean Exodus. Oh, yeah. They talk about how this tattoo grows when you use these techniques too much. It causes immense pain from a one millimeter growth. And notice how Hercules calm. He has insane pain tolerance. Like for one, most knives can't even hurt him. But if you do miraculously hurt him with divine weaponry and you can damage him and pierce his skin, that's not an end all be all just because you can pierce his skin. It just more shocks him if anything. Notice how he's not yelling in agony and just pulls him out. You know what I mean? So even if you do hurt him, he has crazy pain tolerance. Uses his own arm to tank an attack that's still hurting him and damaging him. I mean, the guy lost his arm for Pete's sake. And he looks at it like, oh, oh, well, like I can just handle. Yeah, he got pain tolerance. You're going to see as this video goes. Thanks to doing these labors with his club, he can basically achieve his own version of a Super Saiyan form, or he had, one could say he has a transformation. Obviously, one of his labors was Sybaris, where he drastically changes his appearance because he basically transforms. Like, one could say this is like his ultimate technique when he throws the club in the air, distorts space above, and pretty much summons Sybaris, the Hound of Hades, to basically fuse with him. One can assume this drastically increases everything he can do so far. And whatever he can do before this, he can do better transform like this. Powered up more than ever before. You know what I mean? I'm going to get back to this in a bit, though. I mean, just like his strength in general physicals, his skin is ridiculously hard. No human weapons can hurt him. I mean, it makes sense. He drinks Zeus's blood. He has crazy durability, right? This is like a small example of his strength, how people can just hang on him and he doesn't even feel the weight, basically, because they're, they're light when it comes to his godly strength. Another good way to understand his might is how high he can jump leg strength. Not to mention him simply just charging up a jump is causing this much damage, as you can see. So yeah, he can jump really high. So if you try to stay away from him, he can get close to you. Yeah, but let me get off this for two seconds. Let us go. Let me go over this real briefly. This is when he just got Godhood strength. Whatever he can do right here, he can do better currently. Because when he drank Zeus's blood, he got in a fight right away with a god known as Ares. You can see the impact of their hits is blowing stuff away. They literally get in a slugfest. The god Ares that he's fighting can't believe it and is shocked. Zeus himself had to intervene, stopping both their hits in his little baby form. Ares even straight up stated, this guy that just became a god was so strong that if that fight would have continued, even he would have been in trouble. This scan right here pretty much proves that he's gotten a lot stronger since the time he fought Ares. It's kind of implied that nowadays, the gap in strength between these two has grown vast to where not even a god like him can keep up with Hercules no more. Matter of fact, when he just got his raw power, he was able to one-shot a being with so much force that the deities, the deity that was watching straight, straight up said that's Zeus's strength. So let you know that one could say he could have got strength somewhere in the same range as Zeus himself. His strength got compared to Zeus back here, but when he got, when he became a full blown deity nowadays, he's way mightier. So that just gives you some perspective. So yeah, I already brought this up, but yeah, look what he does to the street just by simply jumping. To give you an idea of his strength, his leg power, just crushes a whole bunch of knives with his vice grip without using his weapon. When he decides to actually hit with his weapon, you can actually see the collateral of his hits do at least this to the ground itself, making a huge crater after his blow. I mean, this should pretty much be a no-duh type of feat, but it's pretty much proven with ease these type of godly characters can destroy buildings, knock them over, things of that such. The thought of any version of Hercules not having the strength to level a building or make a building crumble kind of makes me cringe. That has to be that has to be like a standard. Every version of him can do this. I mean, in his highest form, which I haven't got to in this video yet, he does this to a building without necessarily having to make contact to the building, you know? Like, here's the thing. Even if you don't want to believe he's completely equal to Zeus of this universe, that's fine. But yeah, all the gods might not be necessarily equal, but for him to even bring up Zeus's strength, Considering when other gods like Shiva are kind of nervous around Zeus, this god, Shiva, for example, is just casually confirmed to have the raw power to destroy an entire planet, you know, just casual, just casually announcing these things. Like, I get it. It's just a statement, but it should imply that Hercules can also destroy the planet if he really felt like it, a planet like Earth, right? With how hard he can hit, right? If you're somewhat skeptical about believing Hercules in this universe can destroy a planet, well, think about it. He has to be strong enough to destroy a planet. If in this universe, he has similar feats to his myth counterpart, like doing the labors. We didn't get to see pretty much all 12 of his techniques, but we got to see at least three or four of his techniques when it comes to these different labors he's gotten. 
if we assume he has, like, of course, they didn't confirm his labor or nothing. But if we assume this version of Hercules went through pretty much all the same labors as, of his myth counterpart, that would further back up him at least having the strength to be able to destroy a planet if he went through similar labors like his myth self. Because you guys probably already know a myth, you know, with the apples in the myth. Atlas was holding the earth and the sky and the world and stuff of that such. It's implied that Hercules and myth could relieve him of his duty for a little while, implying that Hercules can lift the earth or the sky in strength. Like, I know lifting weights and hitting something hard enough to destroy a planet, those are two different things, lifting and striking, but if Hercules can use his physical might that he used to lift earth, it will also further imply he can destroy the earth too, you know? I mean, let's be honest, he can hit hard because he has super strength, right? So... Feats like this would also further imply that he really could bust a planet like Earth or something, right? It's only fair, right? Not to mention the sky. That would be like immeasurable or infinite weight. <laughs> yeah, I know Marvel Hercules is a different Hercules, but yeah, this if we was to assume he actually had labor similar to this, this would make Hercules' strength immeasurable when it comes to how much he can live. You know what I mean? But take that with a grain of salt. We don't really got context of these labors in this record of Ragnarok universe. But it's a high likelihood it's going to be similar, right? Do you think Atlas exists in Record of Ragnarok? If he does, there's a good chance he probably did that labor of holding the heavens, the earth, or the sky or whatever. I mean, he did the labors. I mean, I'm pretty sure they he probably held the sky in this universe. You know what I mean? It's confirmed he did the 12 labors, just like the myth, right? But that's none of my business. There's not really many flashy showings of his speed, but I would definitely assume he has to have fast reflexes. I mean, all these knives coming at him, you can see him block and deflect them with his fighting speed one because they reflexes. Even when stuff is this close to him, he can still dodge it. Something this close to him, he notices it and stops on the spot. The cases like this definitely imply fighting speed deflecting multiple things and one of the blades curving unexpectedly and he still notices it. And moves out of the way of it while deflecting and such. Blade coming at him, he stops it. And shatters it with his strength. <laughs> Striking power. One could say he can hit hard because a mixture of his physical strength and his how fast he can swing or hit. When he was in a higher form, uh, when his stats and everything was increased, it was like this sneak attack. He still was able to react to it in time when he's amped up in his higher form, of course. I brought this up earlier when, when he fuses with Sybris, the Hound of Hades and stuff, he gets buffed up more than ever before. His most powerful, but takes the biggest toll on the user. But everything he could do before, he could do better like this, obviously. It burns through the user's own life force. And apparently if he doesn't win, it will overwhelm his body, stripping him of life in the process one could say this is a last resort technique okay remember earlier how i brought up how the valkyries are helping out the humans with these divine weapons right so check this out these little cheat code divine weapons that the humans have to use to be able to compete with the gods or harm the gods hercules for example has been harmed by this being he's fighting jack the ripper for example Hercules in this new state is so strong that even though he has cheat code weapons that help bridge the gap and help them harm deities like he used this divine powered manhole cover like this guy can touch stuff and make it divine for example he used this and hercules was able to punch through something that was divine that helped humans be able to hang with the gods and do this much damage to him he's gotten so strong in this state to even if it's a divine weapon that doesn't mean you're safe yep let me get back on the divine weapons real quick multiple divine weapons coming at him he's literally breaking them weapons that would otherwise if he was in his base form would have stabbed them like, there was this divine, this guy made an entire building a divine weapon, right? And it crushed Hercules in this new state. You would think something this heavy and massive would instantly win since he can make weaker stuff do damage to him. You would think all this weight would be too much for him. But in this new state, he's too strong. The Hound of Hades mode, Hercules stands ready for more. But for the most part, everybody, you guys get the idea. I kind of hate that Hercules didn't win. But regardless of it, he's still ridiculously strong and respectable. I mean, think about it. If they compared his strength to Zeus during his weakest days when he first got powered up, Zeus's blood, implying he already technically could destroy a planet possibly right here, right? Imagine how much of, of a planet he can destroy like this if he could technically already destroy a planet in his base form. Not to mention unleashing his ultimate Hound of Hell attack, where he basically blows up his fist extra large. It's called the Great Hero Blow, like his fist literally gets larger. How hard do you think he can hit right here? He should be way above planet shattering level with this punch. If we're just being all the way honest, making a huge shockwave after the missed hit attempt. So imagine if he can already destroy the earth right here in this base state. One can say like this, along with his new added claws because of his transformation, he can punch apart planets larger than the earth like this. But what do you think though, guys? 
I want to hear what you guys think. What do you guys think the limits of these record of Ragnarok rock gods are? We're just in the beginning stages of their might, y'all. No telling what kind of madness we're going to see them do in the future. I mean, we got Zeus talking about how the Big Bang is a thrill and stuff. Like, there's a lot of potential for their power being upgraded. But before I get going, I got to say thanks for the donations, everybody. Helps out a lot. Respect Hercules, though. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys later.